So we're back here today at the British Boutique Guitar Festival and today we've got a pedal, um, which is one of the first pedals I've had on my channel and it's a game pedal, very fittingly. Um, this is Lewis from LT um, Guitars, but in today he's gonna to be playing the part of John from Brilliant Pedals. Nice to meet you, John from Brilliant Pedals, who's actually Lewis. Yes, nice to meet you. Um, but you know loads about this pedal and we're gonna yes. talk about this pedal. First of all, obviously the best thing about this pedal is the colour. Right? It's the first thing that drew me, yeah. isn't it? You, you see it, it's very It doesn't striking. matter what this sounds like. This just, <laughs> just needs to go on my pedal board. I need to see that on stage. <laughs> I think John actually has a competition running as well, where if you can actually guess correctly what that artwork is, I think you win a prize. Oh. I think that's right. You need to speak to John at Brilliant Hours. You win a prize. I've got an idea of what it is. I should keep it to myself though, shouldn't I? Because we'll talk after. Yeah, we'll talk after. We'll talk after. <laughs> and do you take bribes for the answer? Absolutely. Okay, we'll, we'll definitely talk after. Um, so yeah, yeah, so this is the TODP, which stands for? The Tube Overdrive Distortion Pedal. Although some people call it the? Toxic Overdrive Distortion Pedal. Because of the color, yeah. not because of the sound. No. And it's, it's actually got a, a real tube. There is a real valve in there, a very small one that runs about 30 volts, I think it is. There are quite a few switches on it, so I'd imagine slight learning curve. Yes, it's not something, I mean, you could, you could dial this in in a, in a couple of minutes, you'd find a sound you're happy with. Yeah. But what he wanted to do was get, as well as the, the valve, get all those solid state clipping diodes in that a lot of other distortion pedals have, but instead of them being just that setting and then you can turn the level up, he wanted it because they've all got their own characteristics and to make them usable and mould them to your sound, he put in a lot of frequency cuts, boosts on, on the valve load, which then feeds into the diodes and stuff like that, filters on it as well. And so he's tried to make it so you will find something very usable no matter where you are on that on that pedal. Now, I've already seen you go through this pedal with Mike from CGS just before this, and to me, what I thought was, it's almost like a, a modeling pedal, but without the digital modeling side, it's like actual analog, like um, so many options. Would you say that's kind of? I, I think that's fair. I think obviously it is completely analog. It feels like um, the kind of pedal that you can just create to be what you want it to be. Yes. You're not sort of pigeonholed into a certain sort of genre or sound. No, no, I, I actually use this pedal um, to beef up the sound of my blues rock band. Right. Which you'd go, oh, that yeah. might be a bit much. Is it actually, green? It's still green. Oh, yeah. so. It might even be the one in front of you. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, see. I see, John. I see. <laughs> cool. So shall we play through some sounds? Absolutely. Some sounds? And this is a sempaternal guitar, which I possibly said in a weird way, but links will be in the description below and I'll be putting some videos out on these guitars and these are very me and uh, so far I love this guitar but I haven't actually played it too much but you'll see in my video and we'll go through everything. You want to flick it on straight away? I feel really weird like I'm telling you to That's right. get down there but I'm not, I'm not, I'm asking you very politely. <laughs> I'm consenting. Help. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> you heard it here. Uh, this is the clean sound with nothing. Uh, this is the unclean sound with something. Going, this is going in, so we're using the valve now. There are no anti-blocking diodes or blocking or whatever they, they're called, those. So if it was it's got just, a lot of bite. Yeah, if it yeah. was just that in a pedal, I think you'd still, you know, a lot of people would be happy with that. This is, yeah, this, so this is just barely scratching the surface of what was to come, isn't it? Yeah. Because I can see by the, <laughs> by the dials and the, yeah, this is quite exciting. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, so I mean, if you like that sound, you think, do you know what, I really want to fatten that up, then you can boost the bass. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> huge. Yeah.
It makes such a huge difference. It, it does. You can hear as you go through, and obviously you probably wouldn't do that live unless you've got very yeah, intricate yeah. toes, perhaps. Very long, long toes. Yeah. Very <laughs> we saw a video yesterday that Henning showed us, but maybe if your toes were able to do that thing that the, the thing in the video was able to do. You know? I didn't see the video. Oh, I've got something to show so, you later. Right. Um, <laughs> we, uh, so yeah, there's, um, there's loads of low ends and it, it's so sort of refreshing to to flick a switch on a pedal at this kind of game level and actually notice a big difference as well. Yeah. I think that's quite hard to do. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, when, first time I used it um, and I, I, you know, boosted the bass and, and all that, I, I did say to John, it makes, it almost makes my amp's distortion sound sort of anemic right. uh, and, and thin, and it's not. It's a really full distortion, but you, you play that over it and it's like, oh, oh. This, yeah, is, yeah. this is really big and... And I can imagine like a, a lower sort of volume setting or in a situation where you're playing on your own, that will come in really useful. Maybe not so useful at a gig trying to cut through a mix, but yeah. it kind of, you know, you've got your setting for home and you've got your setting for live as yeah. well. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. um, right, so should we try and a few of these anti-blocking yes. diodes? So we'll start on the next switch round, which is for I set these back to um, the middle with the bass boost off. So that's with bass boost. Off. That's with right. it off. So should we? Pop yeah, it? yeah, sure. I really hope that that comes across. Um, <laughs> Like and just how, how drastic yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that really is. Because yeah. it's sometimes it's hard to sort of capture that in a in a video and once YouTube's added its, its compression that but it's pretty dramatic just yeah. just in case it's it doesn't come very, across. Very, very noticeable. Um so if you want to keep playing, I'll start you know, cutting loads on the valves cool. and, and frequencies and mess around with the recovery and filter whilst we're on this one. Yep, yep. Cool. It's like a million different sounds <laughs> in 30 seconds, so it's unbelievable, yeah. Um, yeah, so we, you know, try and make it a bit more usable. So um, I think we'll, we'll switch around to the two anti-blocking diodes. I don't know why four was before two, that's another John thing. Maybe there's a competition. To guess why, well. yeah, yeah. Guess why. Um, yeah, so we'll go around to that. <laughs>
again, you can just, it, it, there are so many sounds you can dial in with this. Um, so, I mean, we'll go around the next three, if you like. Yeah. Uh, if you want to, I'll just switch between the three. But we're starting to get into more of where your sort of solid state distortion pedals would be with your diodes. So LEDs, silicon diodes, and germanium diodes. So hopefully we'll hear a bit of a difference. Yeah. So I might switch, I'd leave the setting somewhere and we'll switch between the three diodes as we go and then I'll start messing around with, cool. with stuff. Yeah. Something like this would be perfect for recording as well because you've just got so many sounds, you can start layering them up. Yeah, yeah, and you probably heard as we went from LED to silicon to germanium, what it was doing by going through those, it was kind of, the signal was getting less and yeah. less and that's why you have the recovery stage basically. Oh, so it kind of compensates. Yeah, yeah, it boosts the signal yeah. back up to where it should be pre-load basically yeah. uh, or something like that, I think John said. Yeah, so, and that's why, you know, you, it, as soon as you hit that recovery, the, the sound sort of, you yeah. know, put, went back up. And this is John's, is this his first pedal? Because he usually makes amps, doesn't he? He usually does make amps. Which I've, I haven't had a uh, chance to try. Oh, they're very oh, good fun. Okay. I've heard good stuff, so. <laughs> they, um, yeah, I, this, I think he had done a couple of prototypes for people and it became in that weird period in lockdown where nobody could do anything. Obviously amps weren't getting used live because yeah. he does make some very, very, very loud amps. Yeah. So he, he had I a hear the sound engineers love those. <laughs> when you turn up to a gig with a really loud amp, they're like, oh yes. Yes, that's, just that's what I need. Yeah, brilliant. More stage <laughs> volume, yes. Um, and so he, this became a bit of a lockdown project for him. He sort of researched it and started looking up the different things that he could get on there and yeah has turned it into I think um, Stuart at SBC Guitars has one of the first ones which is just basically an enclosure with all the switches and stuff nice. like sharpie yeah, on yeah. just to see if it, it worked and Stuart told me for quite a while he said this is a great pedal you need to try yeah. and get hold of one of these and I think he may have had some say in pushing John to actually this, there's mileage in this. And are his amps voiced in a similar kind of way as well? Um, he actually does so many different amps. Right. Um, everything from like super searingly high gain stuff to actually, if you want that very clean pedal platform. So pretty much the answer was yeah, because that kind of does. It, it does. Yeah, it, yeah. It does That's it. really yeah. cool, yeah. Yeah, so. I look forward to trying out his amps as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think he'd, he'd like that very much. Um, but yeah, he's got these for sale at Brilliant.com. How much are they? They are £199. For, that's a lot of pedal for it, that amount of money. Uh, that's exactly what yeah. I thought. And that's why as soon as you know, I, I heard one, and obviously saw it as well, I thought, 
that I, I've seen other. Don't even yeah. Don't worry about what it sounds like. Just look. Just look at it. it. I, I heard other pedals around that price range that are yeah. very good, but this just doesn't. Nowhere so near the much. amount of options. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And sound quality as well. Obviously, it sounds amazing that you can hear. Well, thank you so much for watching. All links will be in the description below for this guitar and the pedal, of course. Um, thank you so much. Lewis from LT Guitars, his actual name. And we'll see you next time.